Then Matthew goes on, But as in the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Most scholars assume that all this is trying to get across is that it was business as usual until uh, the, the uh, 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 coming of the Son of Man occurs. And that's justifiable. There are many scholars, however, that suspect there's more into this than just the, that. It's more than that. To really understand this idiom, you need to understand what was the cause of the days of Noah. And we're not going to get into that here except to highlight, to really understand this, you need to get into Genesis 6 and understand why God sent the flood in the first place. And that gets into the whole issue of the uh, Benaiha Elohim and the Nephilim and all of that. And so there may be far more lurking behind this passage than most people re uh, sense on first reading. But then Matthew goes on, But then shall be two in the field, one shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. The, in the uh, other, in the Mark account, he mentions that two men will be sleeping in the same bed, one will be taken, the other left. What's interesting about the passage is that it's also a technology statement. Because you've got people... In the, the women grinding at the mill did the first thing in the morning. They ground the, the meal for the day. Two men in the field was during the day. Two men sleeping would be at night. So you got morning, noon, and night at the same instant. It's a testimony to a round earth, if you will. And uh, uh, people have different views in this, but I suspect that he's gathering his people. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. That's in the King James English, but it's misleading because the good man sounds like a good guy. Not necessarily. The word is, really means a master or just the head of the house. Know that if the, if the head of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, who's coming in the thief, like a thief in the night? Jesus is. So who's the good man of the house? Who is the God of this world? See, the good man is having, he's suffering his house to be broken up. See, I believe the idiom here is Satan himself. Know that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. I think the idea here is, is that the thief that's coming in the night is our Lord. And he's, he, it's his way of saying that uh, uh, for such time as you think not, He's going, to, he's going to catch you. Be careful he doesn't catch you by surprise. But in this case, see, it's the house that's being broken up. But then he goes on. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But if, but and if, that evil servant shall say in his heart, The Lord delayeth his coming. He shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint his portion with the hypocrites, and there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So that's the Matthew account. In our next session, we'll examine Luke and show some surprises between the two that will raise more questions than we even started with. But it'll be rewarding. Stay with us.